All right, I feel like this happens to me all the time. You go to the grocery store, there are so many aisles, so many things you can buy. You want to be healthy, but you mm -hmm. don't really know where to start. Yeah, I'm taking notes with this next story. And today is Your Healthy Family Fox 4 anchor Lisa Greenberg is live at Sprouts Farmer, Farmer's Market in Cape Coral to show you the seven foods that should always be on your grocery list. Hold on, Lisa, let me grab pen and paper really quickly. <laughs> Good morning, you guys. Okay, so you come into the grocery store. It can be a little bit overwhelming, especially when you take a look around and you can see so many different options, right? Well, we want to focus first on seafood. So you come over to the seafood case, you're looking and even still all these beautiful different types of fish. There's shrimp, there's scallops. What do you choose? You know, we're in Florida. We're known for our seafood, right? Here's the thing, I did talk to a fitness expert who tells me that going for the wild caught fish, that's the first thing you should focus on when it comes to your seafood, here's why. There are a lot of health benefits to eating fish. Fish are obviously lower in calorie. They have less saturated fats than say a, a beef or, or a, a chicken or a pork would have. And coach Nino Magadino, the owner of MaxFlex Fitness, says fish are packed with protein. But they also have the omega-3s or omega-6s that would be helpful for your, um, your bloodstream as well, for your body and skin. And if you're staring at the case of fish, wondering which to choose. If I'm going to have a piece of salmon or, or cod or any type of other fish, I like it to, to be wild caught. Why wild caught over farm raised? Okay, so um, the wild caught would have less of the uh, mercury in it and, and a lot of the toxins that say a farm raised fish would have. He says it can be a little more expensive, but you don't need to have it every day of the week. If you had fish maybe one or two days a week, it could be economical. It's great to feed the family and you only need about four to six ounces. Okay, so we just heard about the health benefits of wild caught fish, but let's talk about the taste and kind of the differences you can see. So this morning I have this butcher, Nick, with me from Sprouts Farmers Market here in Cape Coral. Good morning, Nick. Thank you so much for joining Good us. Good morning, Lisa, in Southwest Florida. And I want to talk about the difference here because this is two different types of salmon. We have the farm raised salmon, we have the wild caught salmon. Both are delicious, healthy options, but you know, we're talking put a lot of focus on the wild caught. What are kind of the flavor differences you'll notice in these salmon? So the difference of the salmon, they're both excellent salmons. So your wild caught salmons are gonna have a higher flavor profile. It's gonna be a little bit more gamey. So that's coming from what it's eating out there in the natural environment. So you have your farm raised salmon here that's gonna be coming from the Atlantic side where your sockeye is wild coming from the Pacific. Um, very high in omega-3s, fatty acids, and vitamin Bs. So excellent source of nutrients, great flavor, and both of them will be great on your plate. They're tasty looking for sure. And do you have kind of a favorite way that you recommend people prepare these types of salmon? I like to use a little heat, a little heat and a little sweet, um, like baked mm -hmm. in the oven. So I do a, do a, a rub, uh, kind of come up with your own, your own flavor profile. But you take honey and you Ooh, get honey, honey and glaze it over the top. So when it cooks, that, that heat will be covered in there and the honey will caramelize it. So it'll kill that heat and have a nice sweet dish on your plate. That sounds so good. Thank you so much, Nick, yes, for your help and your insight. That's something I'm definitely gonna try later mm -hmm. on today. So safe fish maybe isn't your thing. I feel like everyone really likes fruit. Fruit tends to be the crowd pleaser. So coming up next in Your Healthy Family, we're gonna talk about the fruits that should always be on your grocery list. So keep it here. Chris, Lauren, Trent, I'll send it back inside to you.